Mr. Hamida. Hamida. Rabia and Hamida. I hope I get the names right. It's okay, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, Salam alaikum, sister Hamida. Well, and brother Rabia. Okay, and um, you guys are in charge of the mosaic and calligraphy, uh, as we can see behind us. Um, what was that role in the madrasa with a difference? Okay. Oh, is the uh, art. Um, art is a great opportunity for children to express themselves, and what better way than Islamic art, which Rabia specialized in in Italy, where we met, if you'd like to continue. Yeah, I, I did learn this art in Italy, but, but because in Italy they use the images that is not allowed in Islam, so I transform it in Islamic calligraphy. And it's an opportunity for the, as she said, for the kids to express themselves and go away from crime, who hang around the streets, so they can express themselves there in the art. Alhamdulillah. So Thank it's you. really uh, engaging and empowering the youth to put their energy in something more productive than, of course. than crimes. Exactly. Excellent. Thank you. And uh, what did you think of the event today? Alhamdulillah, it was well attended by brothers and sisters from all over Brent and further afield. And it was a great opportunity to, to see what we can invest in for the future of our children and for ourselves and for the community. That's excellent. Well, thanks very much, Brother Thank you. Rabia and Sister Emilia. Thank you very much. A husband and wife team. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Well, we finally reached the end. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, address of a difference. And uh, I'm here with Brother uh, Sheikh Gonzalez. One of the organizers. Well, thanks very much for the event. I hope our viewers have benefited from today's event, inshallah, and seen the role of education in Islam. Uh, so, if you want to say a couple of words to our viewers quickly. Respected viewers, inshallah, we would like to see you come out in your numbers to support us and to show your support, not just physically and in your du'as, materially as well, if you can support the projects, inshallah. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you for having us on the show, inshallah. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, uh, Sheikh Gonzalez. And it's a fantastic, noble cause. And inshallah, till next time, keep in touch with the focus point. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Was it okay? Nobody gets my balloons. No one gets my balloons. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters, our dear viewers. I have with me, I want to interview a few people after the launching of uh, Masjid al-Taqwa Madrasa with a difference. And one of the participants, uh, Sister Kawthar, is here with me and I have a few questions to ask her. Sister Kawthar, why Madrasa with a difference? I have... Um, why Madrasa? Because we need to um, invite communities and get communities, get communities involved. Communities involved. Uh, tell me, is there any sphere of activities uh, for the sisters? There will be activities for the sisters, inshallah, ranging from arts and crafts to self defense to poetry to all sorts of arts. I see. You know, uh, Sister Kausar, in our community, quite a few uh, the sisters and the children are normally marginalized. With this madrasa and the difference, would this madrasa have uh, facilities for the youths? No, definitely. We plan to do that on Saturdays, inshallah. The youth will be catered for as well. So we'll have um, the same um, uh, um, activities for them. Is this going to solve the problem in Brent with the violence and the... Uh, yep, definitely, inshallah, because we'll also be doing a project called Mums Against Gangs, which will involve both um, the parents and um, uh, younger adults as well who can come together and together we can you know, unite to understand what's going on with the um, criminal gang activity within Brent. Mashallah. What's going on and try to educate the parents as well. Okay, so we are looking at uh, Madrasa with a difference from the people of Masjid Al-Taqwa and Sister Kawthar Sheikh. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Okay. Come Mr. Hijab. Hijab, come, come, come Mr. Hijab. I have with me now the director of Yomikum, Omikum PLC and uh, you were here at the launch of Madrasa with a Difference. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Hijab, why madrasa with a difference? I think you cover not just education. Education is paramount in Islam. In fact, uh, the very first surah in Islam was Ikra. Read, recite, proclaim, teach. And uh, you guys are not just dealing with just academic education. You're also involved in a dawah which is very important, um, also of lifestyle in itself within Islamic parameters such as um, your health, your health has rights, your body has rights over you. Uh, in fact, it's actually sunnah, isn't it? Uh, swimming, uh, archery, horse riding, all these are uh, sunnah, sports is very important. Um, so you guys deal uh, with in a holistic way, not just for the mind, but you also deal with the body, the spirit, and also you're trying to teach people about Islamic ethics and teach the, the youth from a very early age. Uh, I believe you, you're dealing with not just people from even nursery, from six years old to 12 year olds, uh, and you're teaching them to, to have a social responsibility, so, which is very important to build bridges with the, 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 the community at large. Mr. Hijab, the, uh, the situation that we have in Brent is that the Muslim community is so huge. In fact, it's, uh, we heard earlier on from someone that it's the number one uh, minority in England. Um, where does education fit in for the Muslim community then? What future does it have? And how can this uh, Madrasa with a Difference or the project help? I think this area is, is, is one of the targeted areas because you know, you've got lots of gang crimes, you've got um, a lot of illiteracy, especially within the, uh, the ethnic minorities. In fact, I was reading a report recently which said um, most of the prisoners in, in, in prison, the ethnic minorities in the prison are actually Muslims from the Islamic faith, which is very unfortunate, but we need to tackle that. Also, a lot of people are depending on the state and we want to encourage people to, to get out there, work, or at least develop their ideas. And that's where my organization comes in. You and I tries to also encourage people, but from a commercial sense. So mine is more commercial. You guys are dealing with it on uh, non-profit. Definitely, can we look forward to uh, some sort of a good working relationship with UMI and Masjid at taqwa as an Islamic cultural center? Absolutely, I, I would love to work with any Muslim community, any uh, Islamic project, even non-Muslim uh, uh, organizations that will benefit society as a whole. I am more than happy to cooperate and put in the support with my media channels or, or, or marketing. MashaAllah. Masha our dear viewers, ladies and gentlemen, brother Sami Hijab and uh, Yomikum, please, yomikum.com. Uh, we hope we can have a long, fruitful relationship with him and the mat. Salam. I'm here with brother Abdul Razak, one of the members of uh, the launch of Madrasa with a Difference. Mr. Abdul Razak, why Madrasa with a Difference? Madrasa is, uh, is basically is focused for the whole community, it's basically looking to educate the young people, looking to do activities, not just teach them, but it's looking to encourage them to become better Muslims and make a difference. And we're looking to have programs like workshops, moms and gangs, issues relating to drugs, stop and search, Quranic lessons for adults and children, da hopefully in the future organize da'wah, how to give da'wah training, and many other things. Not just one particular thing, it's, it's something for everyone. Tell me, um Mr. Abdul Razak, what would your role in all of that be? My role would be to, um, I'll be, as a youth worker, I'll be in charge of organizing uh, workshops for the youngsters on drugs, gangs, and issues related to that. O also organizing football coaching and activities. Jazakumullah yeah. khairan. There you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Abdul Razak from Masjid at Taqwa has an Islamic cultural center, Madrasa with a difference. Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen, my dear viewers. I have with me here Andrew Ramsey. Brother Andrew, you're one of the participants in the Madrasa with a Different in Brent. How do you see this Madrasa with a Different making a difference to the people in Brent? Well, um, to the people in Brent and to the Muslims, both. I think, uh, you know, it's, it's a community thing. 
Um, and I think with regards to uh, young Muslims and young people in general, I think what uh, uh, young people are facing a lot of challenges at the moment. And um, I think a lot, in a lot of ways, either in school or at home or just in general society, those challenges aren't being met um, as well as they, they could be. So uh, we've got, you know, if such as uh, young youth crime, um, uh, just general discipline in schools, um, and things like these. I think what, uh, you know, the, what the madrasa is, is uh, from what I've seen, what the madrasa is hoping to do is to have an outfit, outlet for young people so as to help um, promote the morals of the, of, the, of the local community, which I'm sure are good morals, um, uh, especially based on Islam. Um, because you know, you know, there's an old saying that says that um, it takes the village to raise the child, and you know, which means the entire society has to be involved in the raising of our children. It's not just left on the responsibility of the parents. I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, what would be your role in raising this child? Well, um, I, um, as first, I'm a school a youth mentor. I'm a learning mentor, um, and I also work in uh, special educational needs for children who aren't doing as well in school. Uh, on the out outside school, I run a karate academy for children, and I use martial arts and the discipline of martial arts to mentor children and young people. Would they be uh, having your services in this uh, particular project? Yeah, inshallah. I'm hoping to uh, start, well, as, as soon as the project begins, um, I'll be running a class over the weekends uh, for children, boys and girls. Um, uh, and it will be based on the physical aspect, obviously martial arts is physical, but there will be, uh, there's a section in, in my class, all of my classes, with regards to um, uh, manners and respect and the responsibilities that you have to the society you're living in. MashaAllah. Thank you very much. Jazakumullah khairan, brother uh, Andrew Ramsey, Bilal with us from Masjid at Taqwa, Madrasa with a difference.